Hey, what's going on guys? This is Bryce Lewis with The Strength Athlete. Uh, just here to make an introductory week about the second inaugural uh, TSA online meet. So we did a first one uh, two years ago now um, and people really liked it. So essentially what we did was we provided an opportunity for people to compete uh, in an atmosphere that uh, was online. So totally different than actually uh, going to a competition, getting on stage. Uh, the idea was that we have people all around the world that don't have access to raw powerlifting meets or uh, good judging or sometimes uh, athletes who are too new that just want an introductory step into what it's like to compete in a meet. So what we did was we made a, an online meet which is totally unsanctioned but it's a way for athletes to compete against each other uh, and to test their strength at the same time. So last time we ended up having about 300 people compete in all uh, across many different weights, many different uh, body weights as well. Um, and many different ages. So uh, it was a great experience, rewarding, and we've been asked to do another one. So this year, what we've done is we've partnered with the Muscular Dystrophy Association uh, Camp Week through Ross LaPala, who is another excellent lifter in the USAPL who lives up in Alaska. Um, we will be contributing half of everything we make from this one directly to uh, that fund of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Um, and again, the idea here is that we want to provide uh, an atmosphere for lifters to compete uh, where they either don't have access to meets uh, or also just areas where uh, they want to just get their feet wet in competition. So uh, anyone is welcome to enter. Uh, there's an entry fee of simply $10, which is what about a fifth of the cost of uh, powerlifting meets down to a uh, tenth or even less. So what we're doing is we're providing an opportunity. Um, however, we still want fair judging. So all of the lifts will be uh, judged by three USAPL state level referees. Um, so we have strict guidelines on how to film, um, how to submit your attempts and everything like that. So I'd like to go over a little bit more of that information. Um, the date is July 2nd, which is about eight weeks from now. Um, by the time I film this video at least, um, should be enough time to prepare for these in the future. We plan on doing these about once every 16 weeks or so. Um, so if you happen to miss this one or it doesn't align with your schedule, uh, we should have another one on the horizon uh, in not too long as well. Um, we, we mentioned already that uh, we're partnering with a charity and I think it'd be a nice uh, model to provide with a different charity every time we do some of these so that uh, we can feel good about giving back to a community and so that athletes can feel good about that as well. And of course contribute to excellent causes um, uh, paired with uh, some partners. Okay, um, so our sponsors this time are Barbell Brigade, Slingshot, Citadel Nutrition, Iron Club, and of course the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Um, they're each providing prizes in some way. Um, there's a possibility of making this a much larger uh, venture. So we want to give back to you guys, give you some incentive for competing. So there will be some prizes on the line um, for winners and I think even second place athletes in some cases. In some cases even cash prizes as well. Um, as far as the rules go, uh, make sure you read through the full um, page that this is uh, this video is embedded in but what we want to do is uh, have athletes prep for the competition of course um, film themselves stepping on the scale so we confirm their body weight uh, all lifting must be done on July 2nd uh, and all attempts must be submitted the following day by video format uh, we have guidelines on specifically how you film uh, and we'll be going over, of course, all the rules uh, in a future video just as far as uh, making depth, uh, what our standards of performance are for the squat, the bench, and the deadlift. But as far as filming goes, on the squat, we like to be filming from a hip height from a 15 degree angle out from the side. Uh, and you can see the diagram on the page for a little bit more information about that. Um, but this will give us a combination of being able to see the weight on the barbell and also being able to judge depth. For the bench press, we're looking at the same angle, except the height needs to be bench height so we can make sure the hips uh, and the shoulders stay on the bench and that the feet stay flat on the floor as well. Um, this would be similar to where a side judge might be viewing the squat from and viewing the bench press from. Uh, and finally, for the deadlift, we want a similar angle as well so we can see the shoulders locked out, the knees and hips at full extension, uh, and of course the weight on the barbell as well. You'll submit your heaviest successful attempt for each of the three lifts. You can take as many attempts as you want because uh, we're not you know, judging uh, three attempts, we're judging one single attempt. So the heaviest one you've done that you think uh, will get white lights. Uh, there will be three lifter or three judges um, taking a look at these. So uh, do, do make sure to submit the one you think is going to be a successful lift. 
Um, by the nature of this competition, uh, if, if we happen to judge, well, if three judges happen to judge one of your lifts as red, then uh, you will be disqualified because that would be the same as bombing out from a competition. Okay, um, so other than that, uh, we will introduce a second video in the coming weeks talking about standards of performance for newer athletes especially. Um, these would be USAPL uh, specifications on what we're looking for for a successful lift, reasons the lift might not be successful, and things you can do to improve your success. We wish you the best of luck as far as preparing for this. Um, have a lot of fun. Get some other friends involved. Make it a gym test or a big group gathering. Get some food involved. Have fun with it. And uh, we're looking forward to judging these and handing out some prizes as well. Thanks, guys.